Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna knock the primers out. So this is a, a Lee uh, decapping die. Um, we use this uh, first because we have all these, all these, all this brass that's ready to uh, been fired, and we don't want to run dirty brass into our good uh, match grade uh, dies. So we'll knock all the primers out of everything first, and here I'm stacking it in the ultrasonic cleaning tray. I stack them like this. Uh, so that there's no air pockets in there instead of just throwing a whole bunch of brass in. Uh, and it seems like it just does a heck of a lot better job cleaning everything. So we'll get this, uh, all this done, get the basket filled up, and then we'll get started with the ultrasonic cleaner uh, here in just a minute. We'll come right back. All right, so we've got our basket full uh, of our cartridges, and I just wanted a full basket. Uh, I've got them all end up so that there's no way air pockets can can end up uh, in the brass, and so it'll be cleaned inside and out. Uh, and here we've got our uh, ultrasonic cleaner. Uh, it doesn't really matter. I've used a whole bunch of different types of of ultrasonic cleaner stuff I find that they're all about the same I just got this one for half off uh, but I generally just do two caps of this uh, stuff and then use hot water and I'll fill it most of the way full uh, then I'll drop my my basket in and let it fill all the way up here you can you can see this I'll fill it all the way up over the top and then most of the time I will run this about four cycles I got it caught here hold on might not like that we might just have to do it this way because the, those big cases in there they just are eating up too much room um, and then I'll go ahead and turn the heat all the way on and all the way high and and run this thing all the way up and I'll at this this thing is set for 30 minute cycles I'll let it run maybe three or four times with about a 15 minute uh, dispersal in in the middle to let everything cool back down um, and then the cases always come out real nice and clean, and we'll go to that step next. All right, so we've got our brass clean. Uh, here it's, you can see it's not, it's not necessarily clean and sparkling, but all the carbon uh, is, is taken off out of it. Uh, so we've got everything out of our sonic cleaner. Now we've got our, our uh, annealing machine um, and this the ugly annealer comes with all sorts of different uh, cases or sizes for your case They're extremely easy to uh, put together and set up And then what we've done is we take our, our temple lac. Uh, this one is 550 degrees. And we will paint the outside of the case white out here. Because we don't want to heat the case. We don't want that part of the case getting too hot. And then we take our, our 750 degree uh, temple lac and we paint the inside of our case snacks because uh, the flame will just burn off the outside so we want the inside of the case snacks painted now the whole idea here we're going to load this machine up 
and we'll start up the uh, process. Well, we're going to set this one to the side to, so that the temple wax has a little bit to dry. Um, set a case in here so that we know exactly where we need to put our flame. And that looks about right. So now we've got a, a knob up here uh, that will allow me to change the speed. What we're going to do is we're going to uh, watch and once all of our uh, greenish color is melted off, uh, that's, then we know that the case neck is annealed. What the white stuff is for is we don't want to heat up the bottom of this case neck because we don't want, or the case, we don't want to soften the case head because uh, that's just going to ruin our brass. So let's start this up uh, and let it run for a little bit and then we'll show you uh, where, where we're, where we're at. Oh, there, it's melting off the temple act. And we're going to speed it up a little bit more. And we're going to pause it right here and we'll get these a case here and as you can see uh, I don't know if the lights good enough uh, we actually need to slow it down just a little bit um, as we look at all of these here this one's melted out almost completely um, but we're gonna slow it down a little bit we'll start this thing back up So here was our last one. I'll shut this off here. Here was our last one. You can see we still have our white paint on it. Uh, and all of the green is now melted out of the inside of the case neck. That means the case neck here got at least 750 degrees, but we still have our white uh, down here on the case. That, and that's going to make it, uh, make sure that our, our case is, is staying in good shape. Now the only reason we were seeing flame is because we had all that temple ac on there. Um, one of the nice things about this machine is I like to just load it up and then I can do other things while this thing's running here in the background. Here's a little uh, feeder to, to make sure everything feeds properly. So we'll fire this up. So here we can see we're a little bit, uh, and we've got a little bit of discoloration right up here uh, and then it's starting to go down. But that's not necessarily an indication that you've annealed your brass because all brass is, you know, all, all manufacturers have different alloys that they use. Uh, so you can't just 
take a look at the, the case and say, oh, that's properly annealed because uh, Lapua cases, you know, just for an example, they're going to take a little bit more heat uh, versus some of these other uh, cases might, might take a little less. So use the temple lac uh, to get started to where you kind of feel comfortable and really know what you're doing. Uh, from this point here, we'll move on to resizing the case.